At number seven, the couple's so in love that their passion never died, even after she did. It's General Hospital's Nicholas and Emily. Our love can never die, because I'm always going to be a part of you. Those two <laughs> came together, broke apart, came together, broke apart so many times that you would hold your breath each time they came together, hoping, is this going to be the time? Emily! After Emily died at the hands of the Texas message killer, Nicholas couldn't imagine going on without the love of his life. She's dreaming right now. Look, look, see. I'm just gonna see. She's just dreaming. I'm just gonna hold her hand. Luckily, he didn't have to. She returned to him thanks to hallucinations brought on by his brain tumor. Surgery would save his life, but then he'd have to give up the ghost of Emily. Poor Nicholas. Can't live with Emily or without her. That makes me believe in true love. I would actually rather keep my operable brain tumor then lose the hallucinations I'm having about you. I want to know what doctor is going to be like in his office. Nicholas comes in and is like, look, doctor, I know I have a brain tumor, but I actually like to not have the surgery. What do you think of that? You can find a way to shrink the tumor and remove it, and the hallucinations will stop. Not if I don't do anything at all. I've never heard of that before in my entire life, ever. That's insane. <laughs> Nurse Nadine Crowell helped convince Nicholas to save his life, even if it meant saying goodbye to Emily. Now that Emily has disappeared, Nick may realize Nadine has actually fallen for him. Can he find true love a second time around?